always within reach, but says he's open to dialogue with his neighbours to the south. Well, police in London say they're investigating the fatal stabbings of four young men overnight. Detectives say the incidents took place in the north, the east and south of the city and are all unrelated. Well, five men have been arrested in connection with the murder in Enfield. And we're joined now by Peter Kirkman, who's a former senior investigating officer at the Metropolitan Police. Good evening to Good you. Evening. Uh, is this particularly rare that four men have been killed in one single night? It's unusual for four to die. Um, sadly, it's anything but unusual for a number of stabbings to happen on the same night. That is now absolutely typical of a Friday and Saturday night across London. Um, I, I hate to think what the uh, death toll would be if it weren't for the great skills of the ambulance service, the helicopter medics and the A&E departments. It, it, it is horrendous out there. Do you think there's a reason that such horrific events like this are happening? Yeah, the reason is very obvious. Theresa May has cut the police service so that there are no longer police officers on the street and the control of public space has been lost. This is just one symptom of that. There are numerous others. Uh, deaths on the road are rising because road traffic police are going. Um, Shoplifting is going through the roof because there are no police officers to deal with that. Antisocial behaviour is getting out of control again because there are no neighbourhood officers. Uh, the moped crime epidemic. Uh, there are no officers uh, out there, and those that are out there aren't allowed to pursue. Um, it, it is very simple. It is entirely down to Theresa May and her cuts to the police. She has the blood of these young people on her hands. I suppose her argument would be that the role of policing has changed a lot in recent years because now there is the ongoing threat of extremism and terrorism. Uh, and, of course, that was something that she looked into for the New Year celebrations because it was heightened, wasn't it? Theresa May has been Home Secretary and then Prime Minister for the last nearly eight years now. She is entirely responsible for this state of affairs. She has refused consistently to listen to professional police officers that have told her that crime and the demands on policing have changed. They haven't gone away. They have changed. Last night, we saw, I'm told, 3,000 armed officers uh, drawn into central London to police the New Year's Eve celebrations. Those officers haven't come from somewhere else. They have come from elsewhere in London. They are not a magic box full of officers just brought out for the night. That means there are fewer officers elsewhere. It is no surprise to me to hear that stabbings took place in the suburbs and not in the centre of London where all the police officers were drawn to last night. There are too few police officers to keep the public safe. She has been told that repeatedly and she is ignoring it. It is criminal. Knife crime seems to be going up. Uh, is there something that can be done to try and tackle it? Loads of things need to be done simultaneously. Cressida Dick in an interview during the week said that if she had more resources, she'd put them onto other aspects of dealing with knife crime. Stop and search and police patrols and presence in public places, uh, that is what keeps people safe at the pointed end. Uh, but officers need to be in schools. Officers need to be working with youth groups. Officers need to be working with community groups. Officers need to be working with probation service to try and deal with offenders and stop them re-offending. There are a thousand things that need to be done. You can't do them without officers. And no matter how much this government goes on and on about being more, uh, making more use of technology, an iPad is not going to prevent a single stabbing. It is as simple as that. And we've seen in recent years some very sad but very high-profile cases. Ben Kinsella, his sister, Brooke Kinsella, who was in EastEnders, uh, raised a lot of awareness about it, and she still continues to do so. H has that helped raise awareness about the problem, would you say, and tried to kind of cut the number of knife crimes that there are? Nothing seems to be raising the awareness of this government. They just seem to be ignoring everything. I, I, I really don't understand why they are not treating this as the emergency that it is. It is a public disaster happening in slow motion in front of our eyes. If these young people were uh, white and they were on the streets of Maidenhead uh, in her constituency and in Windsor, uh, there would be an up utter uproar. It would not be ignored. This is institutional racism at the heart of government. It is as simple as that. So is it particular areas that are most affected, I presume, is it? It's inner cities. It's not just a London thing. There were five people stabbed in Sheffield last night, for instance. There were stabbings all around the country, just like there are every Friday and Saturday night. This is an inner city problem. It goes with inner city crime, uh, and unfortunately, the demographics of inner cities are not white and well-off. They are poor and black and minority ethnic. There is institutional racism at the heart of this government, and that, I think, is the source of the problem. OK, well, thank you very much for your thoughts. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Now the Environment Secretary Michael